Solitude makes you stronger. 90% of the troubles in life come from interpersonal relationships. Including insulting you, betraying you, borrowing money without repaying, deceiving you, using you as tool free, even kill you and so on. The ones who will really hurt you will always be the people around you. There is a saying in the book The Courage to be Disliked that is particularly reasonable. All troubles come from interpersonal relationships. The behavior of humans preying on the same kind has a history, and there are countless books in Chinese history, such as Changing Sons and Eating, Humans Eating Each Other, Historical Records, New Book of Tang, Zizhi Tongjian as there are detailed records in historical books such as Zizhi Tongjian and History of Ming Dynasty. For example, in the Western Jin Dynasty, the two-legged sheep refers to human flesh at that time. The barbarians raised 200,000 Han women as livestock and slaughtered and ate them directly as food when there was a food shortage. However, with the development of civilization and domestication, material abundance and advanced technology, and other environmental factors, human beings do not prey on the same kind, and the greater aspect is to obtain economic benefits. Many people approach other people just to hunt for profit. The book Primate Psychology says primate psychology. Therefore, we never know what our future will be like, whether to eat others or be eaten by others. The definition of interpersonal relationship is between people. In a process, both of them are interactive relationships such as attraction. Sorting, cooperation, competition, leadership and obedience expressed by thoughts, feelings and behaviors. Love in a way, it is also a kind of interpersonal relationship. If you are afraid that others will be unhappy, or that others will dislike your behavior, or you embarrassed to reject other people's behaviors, such as nervousness, timidity, humbleness, flattering personality, and being too kind, stop worrying about relationships. Because if people don't like you, all reasons for they just don't like you, all attempts to please the lacking dog were in vain. The lower your posture, the more you will be looked down upon. The lower the posture, the more people look down on you. Make a list, write down those who don't like you among your friends and relatives. And then tell yourself to let go of everything. So remember, don't try to explain previous misunderstandings to others. Don't run yourself. Try to make up for anyone and don't contact people anymore. Then you devote all your time and energy to improving yourself, trying to earn money, and improve your social status. Suppose a mirror is broken, even if you use superb technology. It doesn't help because there is already a crack. Let him pass what happened in the past. It doesn't matter. What you really need to do is to work hard to make yourself strong. Therefore, people must have the ability to be alone and calm themselves down. Stop internal friction. Stop regretting. Stop blaming yourself. Change your mindset for the better. Cultivate solitude and then achieve independence in thought and finance. Let yourself no longer have any form of dependence, no need to depend on others in any form. 
The choice of life will be in your hands again. Solitude is not just a state. Solitude is also a force. Solitude does not make people weak. As long as they can use this power, it will make people stronger. Alone time is about creating a new life in yourself, turning your weaknesses and shortcomings into strengths. In fact, everyone misunderstands the power of solitude. Only the power of solitude can polish your heart. To control your own lonely time, create a new life for yourself, decide your own destiny, and live out your true self. This is the power of solitude. This kind of power is not available to everyone, and they will panic and be afraid, therefore. Only those with inner strength can control the power of solitude. But some people always think that lonely people are very sad. It stems from your inherent misconception that people live in groups and should be accompanied by many people. It is about such deep-rooted ideas that need to be considered. Because of being educated by groups since childhood, isolated individuals are often afraid of being told that that guy is so pitiful that no one cares about him even if he has any friends. As a result, these cognitions gave birth to some behaviors that I didn't want to do, such as to avoid being alone to avoid being considered lonely, to force myself to associate with people so, I don't want to associate I with, mean. to Same suppress I my own nature, to fit hey. in with groups Arigato. you don't Arigato. want to fit in with. In this way, you cannot live your true self, because you are always patient and pleasing to others in order to cater to those around you. Living in everyone's expectations is inextricable and eventually leads to becoming a pleasing personality, pleasing externally without constant internal friction, suppressing oneself, and splitting oneself until you become a mental patient. Catering to the outside is letting yourself slowly kill your inner true self and your spirit will collapse sooner or later. Living in the expectations of others, encountering and weakening oneself, until the spirit is exhausted and collapsed, is used to sleep, and after a long time, you will get depression, autism, psychosis and other diseases. In fact, Everyone misunderstands the meaning of loneliness. Time alone is invaluable because that's when you can really look at yourself. Time spent thinking only of myself. So the time when one is alone can also be said to be the time to create oneself. Those who can use this precious time to enhance their own strength and at the same time make good use of this power to let themselves live out their true selves. Live out their true selves can move towards a bright and happy successful life. It can be said that people who have lonely solitude are also full of confidence in themselves. It is a person who is truly responsible for himself because he can always put his will in the center and actively assume his own life and a life attitude of responsibility. If an individual wants to be respected by others, solitude means not forgetting one's own principles and bottom line while dealing with people in society. He must have his own principles and bottom line and at the same time have the courage to stick to his own position. With this attitude, no matter who you are with, 
you can enjoy it even physically alone. When you are really alone, you will not feel lonely, and neither will you. Solitude is to hold a powerful force similar to maverick. When you are lonely solitude, you need to develop a dialogue with yourself, which is a habit of introspection and the key to mastering your own life. Here I want to tell everyone, talk to yourself by facing yourself in solitude. You will be able to control your emotions as you wish. If you can understand yourself, recognize yourself, you won't have complaints like he doesn't understand me, he doesn't approve of me etc. For facing a fact, as long as you do your best, no matter what the result is, you can also recognize your efforts, you can digest your troubles and anxiety in your heart. Change the way you interpret things and feel more happiness. If you want to have such a strong heart, it is essential to be alone in peace. Once something happens, you also have self-confidence, believe in yourself, and you can solve the problem alone. The power of solitude means that even if why you are hated or excluded by others, you don't care. For yourself, what really matters is to live your own life well. The inner peace of being alone does not depend on everything. This kind of strength can be used to measure the maturity of an adult. In other words, the solitude mentioned in this book doesn't mean only actively avoiding contact with others or ignored or isolated by all. Instead, I choose to walk the path I firmly believe in. To be alone with peace of mind and not to rely on anything. To live bravely alone is also similar to the concept of being a maverick. It's fun to be with everyone. But it's also fun to be alone. No matter what kind of environment it is, if you can enjoy the present moment and are not afraid of being alone, you don't have to force yourself to cater to the interpersonal relationships around you, and you can live out toxic relationships around you, and you can live your true self. The solitude introduced in this book does not mean negative loneliness, but a process that people must go through if they want to mature psychologically. A positive sense of solitude, as long as you recognize everything about life. You cannot rely on independent, but a process that people must go through if they want to mature psychologically. Get the key of psychology power, a positive sense of solitude, as long as you recognize everything about life. You cannot independent on everything of thing you used to rely on. Use loneliness to let the soul grow. Your new life has really begun. The following points are the strengths that loneliness brings to our psychological strengthening. Thanks for watching.